Hey guys and girls, and welcome back to the number one channel on real estate. Now, before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. And if you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe to be part of the Daily Hit family. Now let's get back to the video. So you wanna find the perfect property for your needs, but you don't know where to start. Picking the right property can be a daunting task. There are so many things to consider and it's hard to know which factors are the most important. Well, we're here to help. In this video, we'll share some tips on how to pick the perfect property for your needs. By following our advice, you'll be able to find the home that's perfect for you. Tips to find the perfect property. You wanna learn how to buy property? The prospect of purchasing your own piece of vacant land, raw, untouched real estate on which you can construct your ideal house from the bottom up is very exciting. Choosing the ideal plot for purchase might be more difficult than you think. Before you dig in and buy property, know what you're getting yourself into. We're here to help you through the process and avoid any land buying mistakes. Number one. How to buy land in various zoning districts. Before you start drafting an offer for your land purchase, you should double check local zoning rules and possible construction limitations. The vacant lot might appear to be a good investment and it might be your ideal piece of property, but no matter how attractive a piece of land might be on the surface, if it doesn't fulfill your real estate use requirements, you'll end up with a costly but useless piece of land. Investing in a piece of property without doing your homework might result in you taking on a mortgage as well as several acres that might be difficult to market later. Chris Chapin, a Douglas Elliman real estate agent in Long Island, explains that while a site might appear to be an ideal house location, local zoning may prohibit development of a home there. The code may state that there is equipment intended for industrial usage, retail, agricultural use, or anything else. Zoning and other land restrictions and limitations might be found through public records at your local zoning office or city hall. Many also provide zoning maps online. Here are a few additional things to examine before purchasing property. Access from the street. Unless you plan to park your car on the side of a road and walk to your house, your real estate property must be reachable from a street or road. If it's locked in, you'll need to acquire an easement across the neighborhood property, which means you'll have permission to cross the neighbor's property to get to yours. Setbacks. This refers to how far away a structure must be located from a property line on vacant land. If you have 20 foot structure setbacks on either side, but your lot is only 50 feet wide, your home can't be more than 10 feet wide. Odds are, that's not gonna work. View ordinances. Some local laws may restrict you from adding a second story to your house. A restriction on the type of house you can build might affect your ability to sell it and could cost you money. Number two, how much does it cost to buy land? Do you want to know how to acquire acres of land? A plot of property for development costs an average of $3,020 per acre. Even if you're buying the land for a song, you'll need money for a down payment and to cover the cost of creating a new home on the vacant property. According to data from the National Association of Home Builders, the typical cost of constructing a house is $289,415. However, that's not where your real estate expenditures end. As the new homeowner, you'll be responsible for property taxes, utilities, and all other sorts of expenses. There are a lot of costs associated with preparing land for development, Chapin adds. You'll need a survey, permits from the city council, and a health department permit. The site must be totally cleared, graded, and excavated. Of course, there are fees associated with each stage of this process. Departments from the local, county, and state governments can all be involved, and each has their own costs. And this process can take a long time. The procedure of discovering a property for sale and obtaining the certificate of occupancy might take up to a year. Number three, determine which utilities you want to install. Chances are that you want your house to have water, electricity, and other modern amenities. The expenses of putting up utility systems are not cheap. For example, homeowners might be required to pay for the installation of a septic system, a set of pipes that empties wastewater deep into the ground, where bacteria break it down. However, the condition of the land is especially important for a septic system. While most existing homes are connected to a municipal sewer system, for a new home you can go either way. However, not all property is suitable for a septic system. To find this out, you'll need to conduct a percolation test, says Chapin. This implies that the soil must be able to absorb water at a certain minimum rate. Otherwise, the lot will not support its own septic system. Number four, hire a land planner. It's a good idea to consult with an expert, such as a real estate agent, another landowner, or a land planner before making any real estate purchases. A land planner is the expert you'll wanna call if you're looking for some advice on whether a certain site is suitable for development and how much it'll cost. Land planners inspect land in much the same way that a home inspector evaluates the property for possible problems. 
This is someone who is in charge of learning everything there is to know about the land for development, Chapin says. Vegetation, marshes, soil type, water table, slope, and accessibility are just a few of the factors that will determine whether buildings might be built. A parcel may be unbuildable for a variety of reasons. Number five, prepare for financing. Financing a property could be difficult. Financing real estate is not the same as obtaining a raw land loan. Because there's currently no structure on the property, a buyer may simply walk away from the real estate transaction, leaving the seller and lender holding the bag. Due to the risk, some lenders may demand a larger down payment on land, anywhere from 20% to 50% more. The loan might also have a greater credit score standard and a higher interest rate. On the bright side though, the U.S. Department of Agriculture provides Section 502 direct loans to low-income individuals who want to buy agricultural land in rural areas and help them develop a new house from scratch. So when it comes time to purchase a piece of land, there are many things to consider. Size, location, and features all play a role in finding the perfect piece for your needs. If you're not sure where to start or you need help narrowing down your options, our team can assist you. With years of experience helping people find the right land for their needs, we know how to make the process easy for you. Thanks so much for watching.